Okay, so today we're going to be looking at a uh, JK flip-flop. Um, so I'm going to do um, a dual-edge JK flip-flop today, which basically means that it'll change on the rising and the falling edge. You can also have a rising edge or a trigger or a falling edge triggered um, JK flip-flop. So I think our first thing we should do is take a look at the truth table. So for JK, um, for a JK flip-flop, our truth table will look something like this. So it'll have a clock and we'll do uh, a Q. And so the idea behind this is um, we'll call this dual, dual edge triggered. So this is how you show that we can either have a rising or a falling edge. So we're just going to do our standard truth table to, for two inputs. And the idea here is that when JK is 0, 0, we're going to hold Q. And when JK is 0, 1, we're going to reset Q. Uh, when JK is 1, 0, we're going to set Q. And when JK is 1, 1, we're going to toggle Q. So this should be Q0. So that's the basics of our truth table for a dual edge triggered. Um, if you were to have a rising edge triggered, this clock will just show rising edge, or if it's falling edge, just a falling edge. So I think what we should do here is uh, first define J and K. J and K. And I don't know, let's just draw some arbitrary signal and hope it works. <laughs> okay, and now let's do Q. So I just drew these signals completely arbitrarily. I actually didn't think about drawing them, so I'm just going to uh, solve through this problem and let's find Q. So I think the first thing we should do is uh, find our uh, edges. So I'm just going to draw these in red. So these are our rising edges. It just turns out that our falling edges are already denoted by our black dotted line, just based on how I set up the timing diagram. So the idea here is we're going to um, basically just look off of our edges and we're going to do that here. Maybe let's define K a little bit better so we don't have some ambiguous type of thing. All right, so here on our first rising edge, um, JK, we're, we're going to assume Q starts at low, uh, starts at zero. So at our first edge, J and K are both zero. So that means we should hold the value of Q. And at this next edge, our value of j and k are 0 and 1, respectively, which means that q should get 0. So we stay at 0. And at this next edge, um, our values of j and k are 1 and 0, respectively. So with a little bit of delay, um, maybe let's do 2.5 nanoseconds of delay, um, we're going to rise. Um, 2.5 seconds after, so about here. And then at this next edge, we get uh, J and K are 0 and 1, so that is going to reset, so about 2.5 seconds of delay. Reset, I'm sorry, I'm kind of going off on an angle here. Um, at the next edge, we have 0 and 1 again, so that means we should stay at 0 past this edge. At this next edge, we get 1 and 0 again, which means we should go a little past this edge and rise with delay. We are setting with delay. And now at this next edge, we have J and K are both 1, so we should toggle 2.5 seconds after. So we go down about halfway in between. And then here again, we have another toggle, 
J and K are both one, so another 2.5 seconds, we rise. And then uh, we have at this edge, uh, J and K are both zero, which means we just hold. And we hold on for the rest of our duration. So that is how you would do a timing diagram for a dual edge triggered um, uh, JK flip-flop. If it was just rising, you would only uh, look at your signals at these red dotted lines. And if it was falling, you would only look at your signals at the black dotted line.